Fun to see me, owner and curator of Yosa Boho. We are gonna do a quick trip to the Salvation Army. We are here by the Aldi that we always shop at. Mom is with me. We're gonna run in here and do a little quick shopping at the Salvation Army. We're gonna do some food at Aldi and then we have a live sale tonight. So we're gonna be quick here. We'll get what we get. We won't pitch fit and we'll hopefully find something good. So we'll see you inside. So it's been at least a week since I've been here. Ooh, this is the kind I like. It looks like it's flickering. $4.99. Okay, we gotta see what the colors are. But the last time I was in here, I picked up that amazing George's Briard Pick Your Poison glass. So, not that I think we'll find anything that exciting, but we can hope. All right, up front I see Looks like pink and white is half off and blue is a 99 cent today. So pink and white and blue. Pink and white and blue. And what did I decide this was? This is green, okay. So $5. That is the kind I like though. I mean, I really like mine. It comes on automatically, beautiful glow and a flicker. Hmm, it's chipped though. So I think I'm gonna pass. We have some orange things. pink things. That's a fancy boot. Oh, I felt a... Uh, yeah, it's chipped. Cracked. I can feel it with my finger. Onto the red... red glass bell. Mmm, big Ohio State platter down here. What is this? Is this plastic? Ooh, no. What is this? That is a barbecue pig platter. That's kind of cool. Grasslands Road. It's a good name. Do I see any chips? Is this white? Is that white or blue? I think white is half off. We're going to put that in the cart and check that out. It's kind of cool. This looks like a temptation mug in here. I was trying to figure out what this is. It is a big snowman. He's funny. Oh, there's two of these. Cup of cheer them together. Nice quality mugs. Oh, this is kind of cool. This looks vintage. It's missing its lid. They're cute. Chalkware guy. Kind of neat. I was gonna say that looks like it could be a music box. Schmid. $3.99. Pink is half off though. I don't know. I don't really like the way it's painted. It's kind of sloppy. Into the blue. That's crazy. Doesn't that look ceramic? That's tin. It was $30. Now it's pink, $5, which would make it $2.50. That's so kind of cool. I almost wish there was a whole set of those. Good color. Kind of a nice seal on it. 
nice and clean. Hobby Lobby, of course. Of course Hobby Lobby, what is this? Do we know what that is? <laughs> that looks like it could be Italian. He's cute. Friends, 99 cents. He's fun for 99 cents. Maybe, I'll think about him too. I like him though. What's this down here? Under here. It's hand painted too. Some damage though. Yeah, some damage. I see a big bowl up here. It's a fish. It's got chippies on it. I think it goes with that fish. What are these? It's a boy. Light up LED glass globe. It's a little stork in there. Oh, he's neat. He's got damage on him. I don't know. He's got cool colors. It actually doesn't look like damage. It looks like a... I don't know, unless there was something that was supposed to come up from there. Looks like it's something that got stuck on there. Oh look, there's a bunch more of these. It all has the same wear on it though. That's weird. What do y'all think about that? With the lipstick on it? <laughs> I try not to put lipstick on my cups. All right, what does this do? Does it sit somewhere? Hold something? Oh, here's one of these little copper works. Eight dollars? I don't think so. A Hong Kong music box. What's this? Little basket, that's neat looking. Look at the weave on that, it's very tight. Kinda like that. Check out the top shelf, what is this? Passage through a bottle neck. Build a ship in a bottle. Okay, what's this all about? How does it open? Slides. That's kind of cool. Here's the bottle. Is that all the stuff in there to build it? Kind of cool. Might have to look that up. This is a root candle. These are some of my favorites. Mmm, that's amazing. What do they got on this? Mm, nothing. I'll ask them up front what the price is. And this one's not worth anything, and I think it's not even working right. It keeps kind of doing its own thing. <laughs> but always take a look at these, because I watch other people who pick up the TI, Texas Instrument stuff, all the time, and they find money-making calculators. What is that big thing under there? metal. I think I saw this last time I was here. This is one of those lids that sticks to anything. Hmm, that's sweet. These are cool. Those look like they could be Odagiri with the handle. They've got some major use. Here's another one of these. 
any bookends? Where did we see that one down here? Oh, right here. They gotta be bookends, right? $1.99. Definitely got a gothic kind of mid-century look. I've had something similar to him before. This should have a lid. It's very crazed. That seems to be a good quality. I might want to look these up too for $2.89. Usually these are all chipped up. They get doinked and they look terrible because they always have like a doink on the roof. But these look pretty good. It looks like the sell-through rate on these is pretty poor. Lots listed, very few sold. This one looks to be more expensive than this one. Um, the last one that sold on this is $20. It is more detailed. But they're in good shape. Maybe a collector will come along, I hope. Oh, look at these. These are fun. Okay. What do these do? Are these like chopstick rests? They're almost like origami. There's only three of them. How fun are those? Hmm. I've never seen those before. Into the metals. Pots and pans and things. What is this? It's hanging over the whole shelf. Looks like it's a folding um, wood holder. Wrought iron. So these would be the feet. And this opens up. Holds your wood by the fireplace. It's kind of cool. What's happening here? Oh, it's like a cheap plastic. Okay. Looks like it's a humidor. I don't like the quality of it. it. Just doesn't seem very good. How cute! Ooh, these are Raydon Magenta Scaredy Cat Trick or Treat. These are cute. I'm gonna look those up for sure. I wish there was four of them. Tardy kit. No more of the ones that move. Reminds me, I need to put a battery in mine. We're into the clear. What are these little lids? I wonder what they're supposed to go on. like raku pottery stoneware
wish there was two. I think I saw this last time we were here. Queen of everything. <laughs> I don't want to be the queen of everything. Somebody else can take that job. I'll be the queen of some things. I'm very happy with somebody else to be the queen of everything. <laughs> Dang, I really like this. I wish there was a couple of these. And I feel like I remember this. I like the weight of it. But it is kind of not well done. Is that some markings on that? Hmm. Looks like there's maybe something marked on there. I wish this was... Oh, it looks like it's cracked. Darn. I do like that. Okay, cart assessment. Mom brought this shirt over. I'm gonna check it out. It's a uh, white tag, half off, Talbots, cowl neck. This guy I'm wavering on. It's gonna be 350 after the half off. Looks like one listed for $20. There's no other listed or sold. So I don't know if I wanna deal with shipping that big thing for a $20 sale. This guy, just a one-off plate. He's very cool. But I'm going to probably leave him as well. And these little plates are cool. And there's quite a few of them listed. Like the Scaredy Cat one, there's several listed. And I think a couple sold. But there should be a set of four. And I'm missing a witch's hat. So I think we will pass on those as well. Although look at that owl. That's really cute. We might have to pick up the owl. I don't know. $2 a piece, we'll probably leave them. Oh, I didn't look this up. I gotta look this up. So far, we're leaving everything. <laughs> Except if they give me a good deal on this root candle. I might pick that up, but I'm gonna look this up. All right, it looks like this would sell for $20. One sold, I don't see any other listed. But this, I don't know if this is a polymer clay or what. This has got some oil that's coming out of it. Like maybe it was opened and I can see it down in here on this stuff. So I think we're gonna have to pass on this as well. I uh, took a quick look through the electronics. There was nothing in the blankets on this side. I'm gonna take a look over here. There's something blocking our way. I could see this from the other side. Oh my gosh, look at how cute they are. A little baby blanket. $4.99. We might have to take that out <laughs> and look at that. Look at the ducks. Looks like somebody made that. I don't know if it's five dollars worth or not. What's this down here? Is this another one? Oh my gosh. There's two. Oh my gosh. This is also five. Why is that six? That makes no sense. Let's see mom's opinion on these. They definitely look like they could be from the 70s. They both come out on the same day. Eight seventeen. Why would they price them a dollar different? Hmm. I don't know. Let's get mom's opinion on those though. At five and six dollars. I don't know if it makes sense. Mom and I like the old, um, you know, material that was used for these. This looks like Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater. Oh yeah. Look at the. 
Jack and Jill maybe for the pail of water. So this looks like a nursery rhyme pattern. We're more in favor of this because look at the old animals on this. <laughs> look at that. And the cats. And the little elephant. They're really cute. They've been washed and they're kind of stained up. And they're just really simply put together. So we're gonna skip on these two. But I thought those were fun and I would share with y'all. This caught my eye as I was going down the aisle. Look at the pink flamingos on that. How fun is that? It's made by Croft and Burrow. It's extra large, which is a great size. This is not the sale color, so this is $6. It's in great shape. Mm, super tempted on that. Looks like one is listed for $30, so... I don't think it's probably going to be worth picking up for six bucks. Probably only going to sell for 20 to 25. I'm not a clothes seller. Banana Republic. That looks good too. So I was taking a quick peek at the purses before we check out. I really don't have anything to check out with. I'm just going to ask about the candle. But then I saw this. How cool is that? Is this is made by Mellow World. This looks brand new. The color is so great. It looks like maybe these sell for between $20 and $30. In this condition, probably on the higher end of that. I know lots of people who love rainbows though, so should I grab it for $8? Uh-oh, what's this? We've got some issues up here. Oh, yeah, we've got some issues up here. This is peeling. Darn it. Oh, it looks like we're going to strike out today. That's okay. Mom's laughing. She says, can't, can't win every day. She's right. All right, y'all, we are home. That Salvation Army was a total bomb <laughs> in a not a good way. Not the bomb. Like, we bombed out. Mom got a book, right? Mm -hmm. Mom got a book. Yeah. And then we went to Aldi, and now mom's got chocolate. So mm -hmm. she, mom's happy. Yeah. Um, we're going to go in here and do a live sale. Oh, I did get that candle. It was a root candle, which I love root candles. And I think she charged me $2.99 plus tax. So that was just for me. So $3.19, that was my big spend <laughs> in there. They're not always winners. I tell everybody all the time. Sometimes they're great and sometimes they're not. Last time we were there, we got a $75 George's Briard glass. Today, we struck out and that's okay. All right, I'll see everybody on Tuesday. Please take care. Have a great weekend. Bye.